Hi, Ashley Benson here with Rosettes and Prickles. Today, I want to go over how you take your single favorite succulent and turn it into many. Um, this is something called succulent propagation. Propagation means the breeding of plant specimens by natural processes from the parent stock. So you take your single succulent, which is the mother plant, and turn that into as many plants as you possibly can from that single parent stock. Here we go. Actually, before we get started, I do want to note something. I am in no way, shape, or form a professional. Um, this is something that I do as a hobby. It's like I'm a hobby gardener, a hobby crafter. Um, I just love doing it. So I want to share my joy and my love and whatever knowledge I've gained by virtue of trial and error with whomever wants to know it. So there's that. Now let's get started with some propagation. Okay, so the plant I chose is called Golden Glow. It is a sedum, part of the stone crop family. It's in a quart pot. I just really love this succulent. It's really, really uh, fleshy, has really nice thick leaves. It is a little frostbitten. Succulents don't like frost due to their high water content. Um, and I accidentally left it outside overnight because I had it outside trying to get it accustomed to more direct sunlight. Forgot to bring it in at night. And it, this was a couple months ago during the winter and it got frostbitten. However, as time goes on, I'm going to be able to... Um, propagate these leaves. So as it continues to grow and grow and grow, I'm going to be able to pluck these off, propagate them, grow and grow and grow, and eventually I'll be able to pluck off all these frostbitten leaves and hopefully propagate them into new plants. But let me show you just real quick. So you take a plant that you want to propagate. So this is a plant that I would like to propagate, and I'm first going to find the lowest leaf on the plant. You don't want to pluck the leaf from the top or the middle. It's hard, it's more difficult to um, pluck them off the stem when you have a bunch of surrounding leaves and you're more likely to break them in half rather than get it from the section that you wanna get it from. So we're gonna find our lowest leaf, which looks to be this guy right here, and you rock it back and forth and it comes off that easy sometimes you have to rock it a few more times and maybe give it a little twist but generally if you just kind of rock it and don't go nuts with it otherwise you might snap the leaf in half the whole goal is to get the leaf detached from the very very tip of it so right where it meets the stem is where you want it to detach from. And if you happen to break the leaf and this tip is still attached to the stem, you just messed up, it's okay, try, try again, but that leaf then is no longer prop propagatable, <laughs> if that's a word, but you can't propagate it anymore. So anyway, let's just do one more. So you can see, so I'm gonna find the next lowest leaf. And if you want to go ahead and give it a try to pluck more from the top or from the middle, go nuts. I mean, it's it's all a game of trial and error. Um, I just have learned better at this point and know to do it from the lowest. So the next lowest looks to be, ba -ba -da -ba -dum. you know, I think it's this guy right here. So again, we're gonna go rock, rock, rock rock boom got it directly from the tip just like where we want it from direct detached directly from the stem so that is now going to be able to be propagated all right i'm going to do a couple more and we'll be right back okay i ended up getting a total of five leaves so now what we're going to do i have a little plate of soil here. This is a cactus mix that I just bought from the nursery. I didn't make my own mix. Literally, it's I think it's a black black glow G L O um cactus mix. It's one of my favorite. 
But, and I just put it in one of the terracotta water trays, you know, so a pot would traditionally go on this to catch all the water. But I'm now using it to propagate these five leaves. I have seen people use just a layer of plastic wrap on their tabletop with a small layer, layer of soil. Um, I've seen people use moss to propagate. I have seen people use, uh, this is called perlite, all these little white rock looking guys. Um, it allows for amazing amount of drainage in your soil and which is why this soil is so filled with perlite because succulents don't like to be sitting in water. So, uh, drainage is really important. Um, but I've seen people use just a full layer of perlite without any of the dirt. Um, really it's like I said, a game of trial and error. So tr try things out. See what works best for you. And maybe you'll find something that works best, period, and you'll be able to share it with everybody else. Um, but for me, I'm just using standard old soil, which I like. Okay, so gonna do that. I'm going to now set this on my windowsill or set it on my kitchen table. Both of those spots in my house get really good indirect sunlight, but still really good natural sun and uh, let them do their thing. Every once in a while, I will take a spray bottle. Let me go grab my spray bottle real quick. All right, so this is a spray bottle I use. I have a little bit of plant food in here. The plant food that I use is this Schultz Cactus Plus 2 dash seven dash seven and it has the directions on there so just follow the directions and um, I do a couple of uh, eye drops full in this bottle and then I fill the rest up with water give it a little shake and you'll eventually just spray them just like that I do that probably once a day once every other day I spray my propagating succulents Eventually what will happen is the very tips of these will start to get a little pink hue. Before you start seeing any growth at all, it will get a little pink hue to it. And that is because as the roots grow, they're pink. So you can see, or you can't see, but now hopefully you can see these roots here, let's do that maybe a little bit better, start out as pink roots. I don't even think you can see that. Um, anyway, and there's a little bud beginning on this leaf here, um, which is great. And I also have another one. I'm actually gonna add him to the tray. I also have another leaf that's begun to propagate that has a really large bud on it, which is awesome. And the roots on it have begun to turn white. But um, I mean, the roots are so tiny, it's kind of hard to focus on. But um, you can definitely see on this leaf, the tip of it is now really, really soft or the end of it is now really, really soft. We've been calling this side the tip, so we'll leave that as its nomenclature. But um, what's gonna end up happening is this leaf, which is now the life source for this plant, the plant's gonna end up soaking up all of its nutrients, all of the leaves' nutrients, and this is gonna continue to soften, yellow, brown, then it's gonna wilt and die. And at that point, you then want to plant it in dirt. And um, here shortly, I'll be adding another video to the channel that shows you how to do that. And if you're interested, go ahead and take a look. But anyway, I'm also gonna add him to my tray here. But yeah, that is succulent propagation at its finest. If you have any questions, just uh, add them below. I'm always here for you guys, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you stay tuned and take care.